Today we got Doug Edrington from Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're gonna hit some hot topics. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Today I'm super excited because what we're gonna do is we're really gonna hit a couple of different areas. We're gonna to touch on some scripts that maybe the tough questions that maybe you're not sure how to answer or make you a little uncomfortable. Doug's gonna help us out with that. Also, we're gonna talk about a few other areas of our business. So maybe Doug, there's somebody here that doesn't know who you are. If you don't mind, just introduce yourself, tell them a little about yourself. Cool, yeah, so my name's Doug Edrington. I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, I'm a CEO and owner of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, J. Douglas Properties, so kind of a sister company to these guys here. Um, you know, I've been in the business for 15 years, started with a team, uh, kind of a family business, grew it, um, had a, probably a 15-person team. We did almost, almost 500 houses um, in 2017, it was 491, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then that next year we ended up like diving into what do we do next, and it was open up a brokerage, and we've got teams underneath us. I coach for Tom Ferry, yeah. um, prop, but what I'd say more than anything is like I feel like I've just become more of a collaborator. Like it's fun to like meet you so guys and hang enough. out and like share information constantly yeah. and, and uh, you know just I kind of like to steal information and pass it on and kind of filter it and give it to people when they're ready including myself. Yeah, that's what's fun about this too is is you know as we were talking last night and just kind of catching up and I know I felt like I was just grilling you you know with questions, no, questions, awesome, questions. Yeah. But, but um, you know when you get an opportunity to spend some time with you I love the way you just freely share the information. And what I found is, is that the more information that I share out into the marketplace, typically the more that comes back. And it just, it really is, is that there's certain people I, you know, I've been in this business also a while. And so as you're in the business, there's been this mentality where a lot of people have that they're like, just want to hold all the information and sit there scared. There's, yeah, you know, we were all there once. I know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so it, it's an exciting time to just kind of see the kind of the evolution of what's happening in our business, mm -hmm. especially with top producers like yourself. I mean, come on, 500 homes, almost 500 homes, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. so, um, so let's kind of hit a couple of things. I want to kind of play the role of coach asking coach, if you know what yeah, I'm saying, because I get these questions all the time and I know how I answer them, but I'd love to hit you Different with some version. of those. Yeah, yeah so um, so this is a question I'll get. I'm, I'm kind of uh, at a place where my business is plateaued. I want to spend some money in the business. Let's say the number is $5,000. What would you first do and invest in if you were spending $5,000 to invest in your, in your business? So I, I would probably, uh, you know what I do? I would invest it in yourself. It would be, mm -hmm. it would be an event. I mean, you know, in today's world, you go to an event, it's going to cost you close to five grand. I mean, you got to travel, you got the hotel, right. you're going you're gonna to mingle and meet people and spend money, food, drinks, whatever it may be. I would, I would really um, invest it on yourself going to an event, whether it be a Berkshire event, whether it be, you know, like every CRM in the world has an event right. now. There's mm -hmm. coaching companies that have events. There's all these different things. Mm -hmm. um, so I would start with that. And because it's investing in you, nobody can take that away from you. It's mm -hmm. not going to become dated information. Like it, they're not going to strip the core away from you. Mm -hmm. um, so that that would be where I would start. Yeah. No, that makes complete sense too. Yeah. Also, what, when you invest and go to an event, typically, if I mean, it only takes one idea at an event that yeah. can really change the trajectory of your business. Yeah. Well, and you know, like I could say invest in coaching. I could say invest in this system or mm -hmm. or this lead source. But the reality is, is like if someone's gonna do well with it, they gotta discover it on their own. Mm -hmm. And just by me telling them to go like invest in this, you know, go go spend five grand on mailers. Mm -hmm. Like, you may do it, but you, if you weren't passionate about it, you probably didn't do all the discovery to figure out how do I leverage it best? What do I do before? What do I do after? But if you go to maybe some of these events, you get inspired. And when you're inspired, you you know, there's a spark inside that makes you give more when you're trying to figure out what do I do with this this, you know, my first lead source, my five grand, or whatever it is, right. you yeah. know? No, and I, and I think also if we're investing in ourselves, mm -hmm. um, that is not just one event. It can be ongoing, and it it's, can be oh, time it's also. So the relationships you build, yeah. I mean, there's so much to it, yeah. yeah. Well, so what on a, on a weekly basis, what does it look like for maybe like your best coaching clients? What does their week look like as far as role play, as far as calling, time blocking? What does a typical week look like? So it's very different for a lot of people. You know, I, I'd like to think the... If there is such thing as like the the perfect way of doing business, it is it is living by calendar. That's nothing new. Mm -hmm. um, that what people say, but like there's this whole concept that that I rolled out a while back ago that I pushed on a lot of people, and it was classroom practice performance. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we talked about yeah, that or yeah. not. Yeah, it's great. Um, yeah. You know the the concept of learning new theories, ideology, like new ways 
scripts, whatever it may be, you learn those things in the classroom and then most people go straight to the paycheck mm -hmm. and try to practice on the paycheck. Mm -hmm. You know, they go the first buyer, the first seller. They don't actually practice. Right. Um, the one thing that I'm pushing all of my clients, I feel like I've been on a kick for probably six months now, where I'm really challenging everybody to become an expert at their craft. Mm -hmm. Do they know how to overcome objections? Do they know what to say? Mm -hmm. um, like, all of those things are so important. Do they know how to explain a contract perfectly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, I would say like some of the best agents, they practice. Yeah. They practice, they practice. So, um, when I say practice, like every day. Mm. Like an hour every day and, mm -hmm. and put it in your schedule. If you think of any athlete, any sports team, like. It's a good point. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they're practicing, right? So, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that kind of brings it back because I'm, I'm with you. A lot of times what I tell people is, is I say, listen, until you're competent, you aren't going to be confident. Mm -hmm. And so when you can get to a place where you're building that competence, mm -hmm. competent, that's kind of yeah. hard with my... Yeah, yeah competence, yeah. yeah. it's tough. You're incompetent. That's right. right. With my speaking. <laughs> no, not apparently. you, but yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. I know. Yeah. So when, I, when I'm talking with people, a lot of times, I think the lack and maybe a little bit of fear of picking up the phone sometimes mm -hmm. is because they're not sure what to say. Yeah. So I get similar questions a lot of times, whether it be that they're on a listing appointment and they've got certain things. A lot of agents will have certain questions that they're like, I hope they don't ask that. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about a couple of those and just, if you don't mind, just kind of role play a little bit of that because I think that would be helpful because it's typically the same questions for everybody. Sure. So, so let's, let's start with the one that everybody um, typically starts with with me and it's, will you reduce your commission? So you're in a listing appointment and the, uh, and the owner says, will you reduce your commission? So I heard something really funny on that uh, just the other day. Gino Bafari was talking mm -hmm. to be an interview by somebody, and he said one of the old lines they'd always heard was like when someone says, you know, is your commission negotiable? Mm -hmm. And he would say, well, yeah, it, it absolutely is negotiable. It's the only thing is I just I just can't go down, right. you know. Yes. And yes. so it kind of you know yeah, a little funny good. makes yeah. money, so uh -huh. so the humor. But yeah. mm -hmm. you know, I think I think um, the 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 probably the best answer is it's all about telling stories in this mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. So like one of my stories that I experienced at. Uh, really early age in my career was witnessing an agent um, choose homes to go show their client. Mm. They're a brand new agent. She's not in the business anymore, but I remember this like to a T. She was sitting in the office, looking on the MLS, looking for homes that she was going to show this buyer that was coming to meet her. Mm -hmm. And she printed a bunch of homes off. She asked me for help because I had been in the business for a little while and I was just in there talking to her. And uh, she's like, what would you do here? What would you do there? Well, anyway, she prints off all these sheets. This was like 15 years ago. So she prints all these sheets off, starts shuffling around, lines them up in order, all right? And she had never met this buyer, by the way. Mm -hmm. Never met mm -hmm. the buyer before. Mm -hmm. And she said, and, and she starts shuffling these things up and putting them in order. And I thought she was putting them in order of location. I'm like, you never met this person? You're going to show them 12 houses a day? Are you crazy? Yeah. you got to get to know the person a little bit. And she says, no, 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 I'm not going to show all these. I'm trying to figure out which one I, I want to give them. She said, if I sell this house, I make this much money. If I sell this so house, true. she lined them up in order of commission. Now, mm -hmm. we all know the rules. We know the laws. We know that that's yes. unethical. What, you know, I get that. But human nature is like a whole other game, right? Mm -hmm. So anytime someone asks me about commission, and it's not even when they ask me, I talk about it proactively mm -hmm. so I get to hit it head on and yeah. I get to control the conversation. I tell them a story of what I witnessed mm -hmm. and why maybe we should think differently. Nobody's 2% good or bad in this business. Right. You know, if someone were to, uh, if an appraiser came out and said your house is worth X today and a different appraiser came on the same day, they're going to say it's at least 2% different, mm -hmm. right? It's an yeah. opinion. Right. It's an opinion based on some fact. It's an opinion. Right. So if nobody's 2% good or bad, how about we raise the price 2%, raise the commission 2%, use it mm -hmm. as a tool to attract all the other agents out there to want to sell your house. Because right. as much as I like to think I have all the buyers, I don't. Right. So, so it's a great tool. But... On the flip side, if we lower the commission below the norm, could you imagine what would happen? Mm -hmm. Right, absolutely. And and I can't tell you how many times I've had like like sellers in the past say, "That's pretty interesting. I've got some time. Should we push it up to like eight percent, nine percent, ten percent?" And you know, we mm -hmm. did once, and the lender didn't like it. So you know, right. we learned from. But you know what? It's it's storytellers. Does that does yeah. that make sense? No, it absolutely yeah. does. I think any time that you can give an example of yes. why not to do that or yes. why to do something, yes. it just reinforces it. It's just yes. human nature. What are some of the questions that you get asked or what are some of the things that you really hammer on as far as role playing, that, the questions that you see common out there? Um, I think in today's market that's really relevant right now is the under contract call. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big, mm -hmm. big mistake that agents are making my, right now. What I mean by that is, um, you know, everything's under contract, right? Mm -hmm. Like, or 
out of inventory. Right. We all need to find more houses. Mm -hmm. People are answering sign calls all day long. Agents are answering sign calls. They're saying, hey, you know, how can I help you? And they say, I'm calling about the house on Apple, Apple Street. Right. And they say, hang on one second, let me look up the information, come back on the phone, and it's like, yeah, that's a three bedroom and two bath. They're asking, oh, they were asking 500,000, but it's under contract. Mm -hmm. And the customer says, what? Okay, thanks, click. click. Mm -hmm. Right. So, like, just taking a step back and realizing that we spend a lot of money to generate a phone call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all we're saying is, don't talk to us. Right. Don't talk to us. Right. Mm -hmm. So, I think there's a strategy behind, there's a lot of strategies about, behind how you could handle that phone call. But, you know, hey, it's a three-bedroom, two-bath for 500000 Is that what you're hoping for, Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they may say no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> or they may say yes. Right. And guess what? Still go for the show. Say that one more time. So if they call, it's... Yeah, let's think about it. So let's role play. All right. All right. All right. So you be the uh, customer. Uh-huh. I'll be the, uh, the agent. Yeah. All right. So, hey, this is Doug with Berkshire Hathaway. How can I help you? I'm calling on 123 Live Oak Avenue. All right. Do you mind hanging on just one second while I pull up that information for you? Yeah, that'd be great. Put them on hold, get your stuff together, figure out what's going on. All right, I'm so sorry to put you on hold. Again, my name was Doug Edrington, and yours was? Jimmy Burgess. You got the name, mm -hmm. right? Right. All right, Jimmy, that's a three bedroom, two bath. They're asking 500,000 for it. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, ain't she pretty, ain't she nice? Mm -hmm. um, is that what you were hoping for? Uh, not really, we're kind of in the 450 range or The lower. 450. Hang on one more second, I'm gonna pull up all the listings right around there, and I'll tell you which ones are available. It's great. great. You know, and just, Move yeah, on. that's great. Just move on, yeah. you know? Uh, remember the goal over the appointment is to get, or I mean, the, I just said my answer. The goal over the phone <laughs> is to get the appointment. Right. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I have written down on uh, a lot of the whiteboards of some of the people that I coach, like I tell them to write it down, mm -hmm. it's appointment before email. Because mm -hmm. we tend to want to gather their information and email them houses. Right. The reality is, is you're just telling them again to go away. Right. Get the appointment. Absolutely. So let's let's do that. We are spending a lot of money, whether it be from the advertising we're doing, whether it be even online leads. Mm -hmm. So we pick up the phone. Someone comes on the website, for instance. Okay. And it's a it's a lead that comes in. First call. Get them on the phone. Mm -hmm. Hey, I was just calling. Thanks for stopping by the website. However, you're going to lead with that. Um, I'd love to hear how you're going to do that. Yeah. And then they say, or let's we'll just role play it. Okay. And then they're going to say something along. Yeah, go ahead. I'll okay, so you're just a website lead. Yeah, I'm just a website lead. You just call and, and you you're not it. asking about a house. You just registered on our That's website. That's exactly right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, ring, ring, ring. Hello. Uh, hey, is this Jimmy? Yeah. Hey, Jimmy. This is Doug Edrington with Berkshire Hathaway. Um, the reason I was calling is because you recently just registered on our website, searching for homes. And I was just calling to learn a little bit more about your home buying situation. Yeah, I was just curious about that. I just saw the saw it online, wanted to check it out. That's fair. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about the houses you're curious about. Perfect. That's and I we can take it from there. But that's yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, yeah, because the biggest thing that is happening that I'm seeing is is agents start, they'll say, oh, I was just kind of curious. Okay, great. Um, if I can help yeah. you in any way. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're basically leaving that hang like so you say, giving them a, a sum reason. it up. Sum it up with this mindset: people give answers surface answers right and then they give subsurface answers if you dig mm -hmm. they always do right so you have to know that the first answer you're going to get is a surface level answer right so like for example think back to the last time you made a move mm -hmm. and let's pretend you made a phone call to an agent i don't know if you did or not mm -hmm. and uh and and i just said hey hey jimmy so um hey when we find when you find this perfect home for you know you and your family what's this going to do for you guys yeah it's perfect yeah I mean, great. We got our kids in the school district we want. Mm -hmm. We're settling in or okay. where we are on the coastal market. Hey, it gives you family memories. Okay, cool. Um, that kind of thing. Yeah. Tell me more about that. Yeah, I mean, every time I traveled when I was little, I just remember the things okay. I remember. So I'm going to stop you there. Mm -hmm. But he started to go deep after I said, tell me more That's about exactly that. Right. Yes. So mm -hmm. I got the, we like Florida. We like, we like the beach. We yeah. like this. And then I said, tell me more about that. And now he's telling me about his family situation. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. if, if, I, if with the time, of course, a great phone call should go for like 30 minutes, mm -hmm. you know, because you could learn everything about them, build a relationship, right. but right. ask broad surface answer questions followed by, tell me more about that. Right. Yeah, this is great. Um, one of the last questions, and then we'll okay. wrap up. One yeah. of the things that um, that we get a lot, obviously, is when we're when we're sitting in listing appointments mm -hmm. and we're trying to go ahead and close it out, okay. and they say, hey, let us think about it. Yeah. So... Okay, so you're at the appointment, and they we're say at the appointment. Yeah. we're at the appointment. We're at the time to yeah. press hard five copies. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah kind yeah. of time yeah. frame, yeah. and the, and we say, 
Sound great to you guys? Sounds great. We yeah. want to talk to. We, we want. We just want to talk it over. Hey, I totally get that. And my phone has been blowing up. I got to take some calls. You guys talk about it. I'm gonna go just step outside. You open up the door whenever you're ready. Okay. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. I tell you, it yeah. works yeah. so well because guess what? They do want to make that decision. Right. They both are thinking yes, mm-hmm. but it's like a really big decision. They do need a second to talk about it. That's all they need is a second. That's it. Give them the second. Perfect. I stood outside on porches when it started pouring down the rain, and then they even feel bad. And then eventually, I was let it back in. I sound like <laughs> That's good. Cool. That's good. Hey man, this is great. Yeah man, appreciate you doing this. Appreciate you coming, talking to our agents. Hey, I'm excited some time to see everybody, everybody today. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be great. You know, um, we try to do this pretty often, where we have someone like you come in, just cool. drop some knowledge yeah, on everyone. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah, well, yeah. appreciate you being here. Definitely. Again, listen, we're gonna have contact information for Doug down below. I would encourage you, if you wanna see somebody that's doing it right, watch Doug's stuff online. Everything he's doing, um, I'm, I'm modeling some of the stuff we're trying to do as a company on what you're doing, so thanks for everything. Yeah. We'll talk to you guys soon.